Hi guys, welcome back to my another video and in today's video I'm making a Goan style chicken vindaloo. This is unlike any other recipe that you've tried before and I am bet that you will enjoy this. The vindaloo is a Goan specialty. It's very very popular in India and across the globe. It's almost like a pickle sort of a, a, a sauce which stands out for the flavors of peppercorn, green chilies, red chilies and it's spicy, it's hot and it's sour. It's almost like a pickle. The heat comes from the black peppercorns, the red chilies and the green chilies. The sourness comes from this fresh tamarind that we use in the sauce and the vinegar. And that's the authentic way of cooking uh, vindaloo chicken or vindaloo sauce. The authentic uh, vindaloo is cooked with the pork but I'm cooking this with the chicken. And for that I have uh, uh, one kilogram of chicken and I've cut them into small uh, pieces. You can use uh, boneless chicken if you prefer. I'm cooking it with the bones because the bones will add flavor to it. And I'm also going to need cloves, cumin seeds, black peppercorns, mustard seeds and dry red chilies. Now these are hot chilies and uh, I'm not using the Kashmiri chilies which are mild in the taste. Uh, you can tell by looking at the size if the size is smaller. If it has more seeds it's going to be spicy chili. And also I'm going to use turmeric powder a red chili powder, hot, salt, a sugar to balance the flavor, cinnamon, tamarind. This is a fresh tamarind. You can buy it from an Asian shop. Uh, you can also get it uh, seedless. And uh, white wine vinegar, green chilies, red onions, ginger, and the garlic cloves. To make vindaloo, I'm going to make my own spice mix. This is really, really important that you make your own spice mix. And uh, for that, toast cloves, cumin seeds, mustard seeds, black peppercorns and my dry red chilies. So toast your spices for 3 to 4 minutes until you can smell a nice aroma coming out of them. So right after 3 to 4 minutes I can smell a nice aroma coming out of them and at this point I'm going to take them out into a plate. It's really important that you toast your spices before you make your own spice mix because what it does is it activates the uh, oils present in them which adds flavor to the dish. And once your spices have cooled down, put them in a blender jar. And now I'm going to grind them to a fine powder. Now this is the key ingredient for uh, vindaloo sauce. I highly recommend that you make your own spice mix for a uh, vindaloo chicken or for uh, you know in other dishes like garam masala or even a coriander powder. This entirely is up to you if you want to buy it from a shop. But when you make your own spice mix after roasting them, it completely changes the flavor of a, a dish. Now in the same bowl, add garlic cloves. Fresh ginger, fresh chilies, vinegar, and uh, tamarind. This is the fresh tamarind. I bought it from uh, Asian store. You can get it, and it's easily available uh, without any sweetener added. And uh, salt. Cover it, and now grind. <laughs> And now marinate your chicken with the powder, the vindaloo spice powder. I'm going to add all and add the paste. Now give it a mix and marinate your chicken with the vindaloo spice. Go deep in cuts because you want to add flavor to your chicken nicely. You can replace the chicken with the, uh, pork or a lamb of your choice, but this is the authentic way of cooking uh, a vindaloo. Now ideally you should leave this chicken with the spices in the fridge for at least 45 minutes, but if you do not have a time, you can start cooking right away. Marinating chicken or your protein before you cook it is really, really important if you are trying to uh, cook something that is authentic, that is flavorsome, because what it does is it penetrates all the flavors inside the meat or protein or even vegetables. 
So my preparation for Vindaloo chicken is done and uh, now I'm going to start cooking and for that I have my pan hot with the mustard oil. It's edible mustard oil. If you don't like it, you can use vegetable oil too or ghee. Make sure that you bring it to a smoking point first. You want a flavor of the oil but you don't want a strong pungent flavor of uh, the mustard oil. Once it's cooled down a little bit, I'm going to add cinnamon sticks and mustard seeds. Let them crackle. You want to hear that noise. You want to hear that crackling. If you're using a mustard seed, and then add sliced onions. And on a medium flame, start frying them. Make sure that your flame is medium because you want uh, your uh, onions to caramelize. It takes a little bit longer and uh, on a medium flame. And to help them caramelize a little bit faster, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Because you want to cook them evenly and it's important that you keep stirring them all the time. Keep your flame down, keep your flame low all the time because you want to caramelize them nicely if your flame is too high it's going to burn the sugar and onions and your sauce will not taste nice i'm just looking for the point where they start uh, browning them and uh, it looks like it looks like they are ready and uh, this is the color you want before you put your spices in and uh, now put the flame down it's really important that you put the flame down and add chili powder and turmeric powder and uh, give it a stir and do not cook more than 45 seconds and then add your chicken and uh, make sure that you take all the spices and uh, all the marinade in your chicken and start pan roasting the chicken Sear the chicken for about a minute or so and then add hot water. Always use hot water because when you add cold water it's going to break your frying and uh, it slows down the chicken. And then give it a stir, bring everything together. Hmm. So now cover the pan and cook it on a low flame for about 5 to 6 minutes and then take a look. And after 3 to 4 minutes Take a look, cooking nicely, uh, the flame is very very low and gentle, give it a stir. If you see the onions have started to uh, disintegrate and that's what we want and uh, give it a stir. So cover it and now let it cook for another 5-6 to six minutes. The vindaloo is supposed to be a hot and spicy curry and the heat comes from dry red chilies, black peppercorns and the green chili. It's not supposed to be dark red, it's supposed to be brown simply because the combination of spices we've used. And right after 6 minutes, your chicken vindaloo is almost ready. And this is the thickness I wanted. And uh, you can see the onions have almost almost disappeared. And uh, at this point add some fresh curry leaves and give it a stir. You know your chicken curry is ready when you see the uh, chicken leaving the bone. The bones get exposed, it means uh, the curry is ready. Give it a stir and uh, for another minute or so, cover it, cook it on a slow flame and your vindaloo chicken is ready. This is the authentic Goni style vindaloo chicken and I bet you will enjoy the flavors. Do let me know how you get on and until my next video, goodbye.